guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make dirty <laughs> rice. Um, well, you know, um, this recipe was actually inspired by Smoking and Grilling with AB. He has an amazing channel. You should go check it out. Food's amazing. And um, I just had to, I made the recipe a little bit my own just because he uses meat and like chicken stock and stuff and my family, well, majority of my family doesn't eat that so I changed up a bit so that it could be vegan and that people in my family could eat it so I'm gonna show you how I did that and how it tastes pretty good um I'm gonna you know give myself some clout and who I are you? Uh, my name is Christina <laughs> 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 my name is uh, Madison and I have been uh, coerced into doing a video today, okay so. <laughs> thank you for doing the video uh, don't give my pajama pants. Um, <laughs> anyway, so can you see my pajama pants? No. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to take you a brief overview of the ingredients. Um, this here is like just a mixture of a paprika, uh, black pepper, some onion powder, and garlic powder. And um, let me make sure I got all that in there. It's all in here. It's pretty good. You can see it like that. And then... Um, so for the recipe, you need paprika, black pepper. Well, basically everything I just said was in there, but <laughs> most of the time you have like dry form of like oregano or thyme, but you know, the, the boring, you didn't go to the Oh, sorry. Dry form of oregano or thyme, but because they're in the garden, I just went and picked some of it out. And this is actually my first time using this fresh, so you'll be in uh, excitement with me um this is oregano isn't that crazy that's what it looks like <laughs> and i just chopped it up because i had no else and then this is thyme which is i guess really important for this and i'm just gonna rip it off and put it in there um and then this is some garlic you're gonna need two cloves oh and you need half a teaspoon of basically every herb and thing i mentioned and then you're gonna need one um bell pepper and I did it like this because I'm lazy and I didn't feel like making it look pretty. <laughs> and then you're going to need two ribs of celery. And I also like to use the leaves because someone said they have extra flavor. And I just always put them in because they said that and I believe them. Um, anyway. <laughs> so then you're going to need, wait, oops, I'm going to have to fix this measurement. So you're going to need one and a half cups of rice. Let me check and make sure I'm right about that. Yep, okay, so I put two cups of rice in here, so I'm going to have to measure that out into the thing to get it right. But this is one and a half cups of rice, but to pretend that, you know, it's not two. And then you're going to need one onion, and unfortunately, this onion was super big, so one <laughs> onion is Unfortunately. Um, and then, so for the meat version, uh, you, you would just use ground beef? sausage. Okay. Um, and ground I, beef? No, and dewy sausage. Okay. And um, I found the best, like, vegan alternative for that is Impossible Burger. And I just add some, like, other stuff, like, a, what is it called? That smoky, liquid smoke or Worcestershire sauce to add, like, a little, you know, something, something to it. Um, and that's, oh, and then you're going to need three cups of broth. And this is what you cook the uh, rice in. What did you make your broth with? Oh, um... Uh, this is, uh, what is it called? Adobe seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and then some Worcestershire sauce and salt. You know, just all in there. It's really, I couldn't explain to you how this is. Just make broth. The, or just use vegetable broth or you can use chicken broth. I just was lazy. Um, anyway. And like she said, you can make this recipe. Um, if you like the recipe with meat, then you would find it at whose site? Uh, smoking and grilling it with A.B. Nice Smoking guy. and grilling with AB. I'm saying it like I know him. He has a million subscribers, so he don't even know who I am. But <laughs> and he, no, but I was. Gonna... You just changed his recipe to. You just changed yeah. his recipe to vegan style. Yeah. yeah. Um. And then what was I gonna say? Okay, so this also doesn't look like a lot of food, but it's crazy how much you get at the end. Anyway, yeah, so and it tastes delicious. I'll show you how to put it all together. I'm using this really trusty Dutch oven. He's you know. He's seen some rough patches. He was found on an estate sale, abused, but now he's <laughs> so. It's a, my vintage Le Creuset Dutch oven. Yeah, he, he's pretty rough. But I like him because he does things right. And you know how you find a pot that just, you know, just works with you? He's that, so we'll never part. I like to make sure the oil is nice and hot before I start putting stuff in here. And I have it on, like, high heat around 8. And now I'm just going to dump this Impossible Burger in. Um... 
So we'll do that. I'm still getting used to cooking stuff that looks like me. It's just weird to me. I'm just like, okay. But Indeed. basically you cook it so it's all the way cooked through. And um, if you're using a gooey sausage, it's going to have its own fat. But because this is vegan, I added a bit of extra oil to it. So about like five te um, tablespoons. And I'm also going to add some smoked, um, liquid smoke or um, Worcestershire sauce. Um, to also give it some like umami flavor. Um, but yeah, I'll show you this when it's all the way done. So this is done. Sorry the lighting's bad, but it it looks like ground beef. Yeah, hey. Okay. Anyway, um, so it's done all the way cooked through, and there's no weird pinkness, which I don't understand, but that's Impossible Burger. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of Worcestershire sauce right here and just split like drip a little bit over the food to give it some umami, and that'll give it a nice barbecue kind of flavor, which is cool. You can smell it now. I like that. It's pretty cool. Um, I think I'd add a little more, but you guys are watching me so I feel nervous. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna add some onions, which is your one cut, your one onion chop. And basically, you move the meat to the side, um, and then you're gonna dump this next to it. And you just like let them sit there until they get glassy. Um, and then I, once they start like sitting there for about a minute or two, I move them into the meat and then they get mixed together. But I like to just let them sit there. We have it like this. And now you can see they're getting a bit glassy. So I'm going to start mixing it together with the Impossible Burger like this. And then it just gets all the flavor in there. And if you feel like it's sticking to the bottom of the pan too much, I added a little bit extra oil, about like two tablespoons. You can also do the same thing. And uh, I need to go out of here, but can that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so you see how it's combined there. And it looks like, wow, a lot of onions, but don't worry. And then, see, they're getting pretty glassy now, so I will take you to the next step of that. Oh, stop focusing. Focus! <laughs> okay. They look glossy as you can see. Um, and now we're going to add the um, celery and the um, bell peppers to it. Um, and then just let that cook for a little bit. And that'll be about like two, three minutes. So I just like to dump them in. Get all that out. So make sure not miss anything. And just mix it together. And now you can see how it's like getting real thick. We just got, and it smells really good, it right? It does. Now? It smells delicious. Okay. Yeah, she has to say that. <laughs> no, it I really think. does. <laughs> you made it a couple of times, so we like it. Okay. And happy Mother's Day to all those who, um, all those who are mothers or take care of little or take care of people or aunts. Uh -oh. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. As you can see, this is really a one-pot recipe, which I really love because I hate having to clean up, and it's just like one pot at the end of it. Um, and so now we're going to put um, the garlic in, and you just knock them in like, get off! <laughs> and then you're going to let that sit until it gets aromatic, which is like one minute, and you don't want it to burn. Um, and because you guys are on the camera, I'll probably just leave it. Um, you just combine that in and it starts hitting the flavor of that. And now I'm going to add all the other seasonings, which is the oregano, thyme, and, and then a, the other stuff in that What thing. about the bay leaf? You said you forgot the bay leaf. Oh, that goes in later. Okay, so now we're adding all this in. Okay, so now we've got the oregano and thyme and it's fresh. Now I'm going to add the seasoning thing I made um, and just dump it in. Is it all out? Out! Get out! And then you're going to mix it all together. Okay, so now you put the rice in, which is, this is the one cup of rice. And I'm going to get the half cup in a second. So we're going to take a half cup of rice. That is not a good, I'll get a little bit. Your half cup of um, one and a half cups of rice. Now I'm gonna mix it through. So what I like to do is this: just cook it through there, um, get it all evenly combined with everything, so it's not just sitting on top. 
And now it looks like, oh man, I could eat this, but if you do, it'll be raw rice, so. <laughs> now we're gonna add in the broth, the bay leaf, and uh, salt, because we haven't done that yet. Um, okay, so. You just add in the broth. And now it gets quiet. And what I like to do is put in the bay leaf now. You probably should wait till it's boiling, but I don't want to forget it, so I just put it in now. And then you mix it around. This is what's this called again? Dirty rice. And for for everybody who knows, my parents are from New Orleans. And so my mom, I grew up on dirty rice, jambalaya, and gumbo. And um, so what and Madison taught herself how to make it by watching this. Um, she taught herself how to make it and change it into a vegan recipe. So it was really cool. So, okay, right now, this is, um, you're going to need to wait till it's boiling to put the lid on. And once it starts boiling, you're going to put the lid on and leave it covered, Don't completely covered for 15 minutes and I'm gonna add the salt now. Um, and I like to just like eyeball my salt. So I just take this and go, and then I taste it, especially when it starts boiling because that's when you figure out how much salt you need to put in. So I'm gonna taste this and see how it tastes. And then, okay. Okay guys, to be honest, I don't know how much salt I put in here. Just put into salt until you're like, ooh, that tastes good, okay? Yeah, salt to taste. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you're like, oh man, I don't know what to do, I'd say I put about three uh, three teaspoons in, which is yeah. a tablespoon. Um, and that may seem like a lot, but once you see how much food you get out, like honestly, if you take a zoom out a little bit, you see how much like um, food is in here. And this is a Dutch oven. And by the time it cooks and starts boiling, there's going to be a lot of food. So it just gets evenly distributed. Okay. Hey y'all. So we're going to cover this for 15 minutes. Um, and then the masterpiece will be done. And you can see now it's boiling. The bay leaf is in there somewhere. Everything's in there. And now you don't have a huge mess to clean. <laughs> don't forget your salt. Oh, and I'm not even sure if I put three teaspoons because that sounded like a lot of salt no so. it doesn't oh really? okay not for know. the amount of rice they'll see okay. in the end hey everyone so this is what it looks like at the end it's really good and i recommend letting it sit for a little bit unless you want to get your mouth burned hi guys so this is a finished product i look um very hungry because i am um but this is the food um and then this is the pot of it and you can see how big it got like how much food is in there it's wild um, but thank you so much for watching and I'm now going to eat this. <laughs> okay. Bye. Sorry.